Okay. Here we go for another episode. Ah, I'm looking for a boss. We have one episode. Like, we have episode 4, and then we have episode 5. Oh man, I don't want this game to end. I really don't. What <laughs> uh, to do? We have to do it. Okay. Let's start this. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I got know so lucky this with isn't that pleasant one. for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and feed it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Yeah, so this is where we ended the last episode. And uh, we found out that uh, fucked up three wheels in the beach. Hello. Oh, hello, Blender Boy. How are you? Okay. Let's skip. Okay. Good. Okay, I think like this is uh, better. Sorry about that. I'm good, thank you. Sorry I couldn't play with you guys last night. Episode 4 The Dark Room. Yeah, so me going back in time now. Now I made Chloe. Uh, 
now she's in the wheelchair. And I don't know, is she paraplegic? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. Wow. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. Aww. You probably wanted to More avoid thing. awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Now, I don't know. Do was this better or me. not? I mean, she has I her parents, want to laugh but... and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. I could. Those beached whales are so sad. Hello. Oh! Hello? Oh, Naya! Hi! Good morning! Oh, this is awesome! Hi! Hello! You're a real survivor. How are you, girl? I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, yesterday was so fun. Yesterday was so fun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's sad. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have a nice day at work at least? Uh, talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into Lots the of coffee. Do you remember everything? <laughs> At least that, right? <laughs> everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and. Coffee. 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 Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't <laughs> Thank say you for anything. that. <laughs> I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. I'm not taking coffee today, actually. I, uh, I have a sensitive uh, body today, so can't uh, can't have coffee. <laughs> my coffee. <laughs> Patricia! Oh my god! Honey, can you be quiet? <laughs> Fucking Patricia, man. Can't have coffee. No. Can't have coffee today. God damn it! I know. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> For a minute, I thought you s you had uh, wrote uh, written uh, oh noodles. <laughs> That could be a good one. Oh, noodles! What did you do? <laughs> mm. what, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. So <laughs> bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? Uh, speaking of uh, streaming... Uh, uh, hey, shut up. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but like, uh, speaking of streaming, uh, I haven't seen you stream in a while, I think. I don't think maybe this week. Have you streamed this week, girl? Not since last Saturday, I think. Let's see. You think? Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, okay. Chloe, 
Yeah, 24 I'm hour streaming is bonker bonkers, seriously. That was wrong. That was great, great. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Wow, okay, she is different. It's so funny, like, um, seeing this, uh, because it's it's like the, the butterfly effect, of, of course, because this game is based on the but butterfly effect. It's like, the little things we avoid, and we always think like, oh, if only, if only it had been different. I mean, just because it could have been different, it doesn't mean that it could have been different better so that's why like yeah we can we can have great regrets but we shouldn't because we don't know if it could be worse it could also be better but we can always make our situation uh, better even if it's bad it's a pretty high-tech layer feels like a high-tech cell thank you naya <laughs> but i am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me and uh, how is your boyfriend? Oh, They're grateful you are here with them. Haven't seen him streaming right. either. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Oh. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh, wow. Okay, go and get your coffee, girl. Okay, this is just sad. I'm so sad for her. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. There's the old Chloe. What is this? Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. Nice. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Yeah, I didn't even know about this. Awesome. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Yes, because that's the most in interesting thing on the Chloe internet. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. Uh, Dorothy Twister. Pisshead. Disco Boys. That's nice. so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Oh, Ignatius. What are you doing? Talking with you. Ha, huh, no shit. I'm about to be in John Quantum Leap. Oh my god, love. Scott Paluka rules. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. Uh, no, if you're in... Not if you're in San Francisco. I have to take care of uh, some body work. Let me get back to you while you're uh, binging on Baluka. You better. Oh, she hasn't replied to him though. So cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. It would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Maybe we can now? It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, we, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa. Aww. Aww. That's so sweet. I wonder who this is. 
kind of a generic card. Who is this? Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. Who's Megan? I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't... Uh, yes, I haven't been around lately but that will change soon i hope you are well love max at least i sent road trip selfies to chloe i'm sure that made her feel great well at least at least she has something of mine i still can't believe i put chloe in that chair Oh, it's the snow globes. Snow globes are taking over. So cute. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I, I should have kept more in touch. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Oh, cute teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. Oh, then that, that's a sausage thing. <laughs> so cute. That's a serious heat lamp. Wow. Does she get that cold? I have no idea. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Wow. It's so sad. Seriously. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? <laughs> Dude, I am a pod in a cast boring ouch it was just a thought i know you're just trying to help <sighs> yeah well, that's become a bad habit of mine you sound like an adult now it seems like we were kids in another life what do you remember what do you remember about us as kids we all have different memories i think about us as little pirates running and jumping through arcadia bay me too. So sweet. We're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. <laughs> no way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Well, you have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Like, I don't even know why we uh, went away. I think our parents just wanted to move somewhere, so it's not my fault. I was like, what, 14, 15? It's been five years, so maybe even 13. Yeah. So why are you blaming me? I didn't leave you. Life just goes on. Uh, 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 they love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. <laughs> they always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay for it? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Wow, well, okay. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh... No pun intended. 
You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. What? I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Oh my, show no. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay, uh... Issues. Thanks. I, I think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. Yep, it's that's like that. that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, that butterfly thing. Yep, <laughs> that's what I was so talking I've before. Heard. Ooh, more snooping. Nothing but medical supplies. What about here? She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Wow, seriously? Dude. Well, I've seen all of this. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Put on a... Ooh, let's see here. Oh, here's the DVD. Yes! What's in this drawer? Oh my god. Aww. I made that mix for her when we were 12. So cute. Pirate power. And their friendship is so cute. Okay. Uh, let's uh, put the DVD over here. Cute. But yeah, it's the little things that uh, you do, like that uh, that sand of uh, that grain of sand thing that you were talking about, that uh, can just change everything. Changes one thing, that changes two things, that changes three things, and all of a sudden everything's different. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> How dare she you. ended up falling asleep anyway you were beat down after the day with me and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant sorry I can see you're not wide awake like me no I'm sorry I crashed so hard were you okay I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. <laughs> it's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Oh. Bet it did. Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine oh. injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. 
seriously, I, I need it. Um, mm. My parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. We're the pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, this couch looks a lot better. At least one good thing I did. Let's see. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Damn. Medical supplies. 8,000? Are you kidding me? Victoria? What the fudge? What is this? What is all this? Max, you busy girl avoiding homework as usual. I told you you'd help. I'd help uh, you out. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. Oh my god, I'm, I'm that kind of bitch. I do try, by the way. I scored that killer bud from you know who. FYI. Save me a ball. Gotta bounce. Talk to you later. Come by my room tonight. Uh, Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Anything was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Oh my god, so fake. Uh, Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Uh, silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Man, she is kissing ass so hard. So many... Freaking messages, Alyssa. What's going on? Hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you through that TP at me. Throw at that TP at me. Oh my god, I was so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Whoa, okay. And I do threats too? Chloe. Let's see. What? Uh, hello Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would like. Uh, she would love to hear from you. See you soon. I I hope. Oh, look who's here, Vinit! Hi, welcome to the stream. How are you? Today we're playing something different. Life is strange. Have you played this one? Let's see. See you soon. Bye. Um, so it's a girl who goes back to her hometown because there's a high school there. She wants to study because it's like prestige. And then, um, she finds this girl who gets, um, shot. And then she gets so stressed or something that she, uh, turns back time. And so that's it. Uh, she realizes she can, she has the power of, uh, going back in time. Um, and turns out that the friend, the, the girl who got uh, shot is her old best friend. And now we're just hanging out. And apparently, uh, I looked at the picture and I went inside the picture. Like it was a picture when we were like 13 or something. Now we were, we are 18. Uh, and like I changed some stuff and, uh, yeah, you know, butterfly effect. When you change one thing, everything changes. So yeah. Now we are in the... Now we came back to our own time. And our friend is in a wheelchair. So. Yeah, it is It is a very nice game. It's very atmospheric. I, I, I really enjoy this game. It's, it's, uh, it's a really nice story, actually. Okay, let's see what else is in the message. Uh, hey, Chloe, Maxine here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know. I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, this is so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So yes, this is still my number. Wait, when was this? So if she wrote me in March, I wrote to her in... No, wait, no. Maybe. I wrote to her in August? Damn, I'm a bad friend. Cool, I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been so long. I know, I'll see you soon. Wow, okay, I'm I'm mean. Let's see, mum. 
What do you have to say? Happy birthday, Maxime. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Uh, Maxine, uh, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just uh, text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people use their phones. Yes, because it's super rude and please don't be so snippy. Sorry, a long day of homework. You're not the only one and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend some so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card when I needed it. I only bought film, f uh, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later, I have to go. <laughs> Don't pout, love you. <laughs> hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mom. If only I had to... If only I had to... Read that one before. I have a Nathan text as well? What? Oh, okay, I think I don't think you can put the uh, links here. Then, then just send me a, a whisper, and I'll I'll definitely go and follow. Let's see what Nathan says. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yo, yo, Max, you around in the dark room? <gasps> the dark room? Wait. Oh, wait. Dark room, like in the room where they reveal the pictures. Yes, developing shot for the contest. There you go. Sweet. So no two wheels for you not yet i'll see you guys later though peace out who says peace out and there was one more from taylor taylor awesome thank you so much i'll definitely go and take uh, take a look at this uh, profile okay uh, let's see max thanks again for taking me see my mom i think she wants f uh, you for a daughter instead of me i think not your mom is a badass like you yeah right i cried like a bitch so did i you just didn't see me it's okay to cry it gets old my stupid phone is not is about to die so call me back okay so we're kind of nice but for some people we're still kind of bitchy it's not the destination it's the grow journey oh What is this? Oh, there's so much to read now! I have to go upstairs and get Chloe's medicine. Hmm. Let's see. So much to do. I wish I could slow down time, especially to register all the cool things that have happened since I'm back in Arcadia. Yes, I'm older, and thanks to Vic and Nathan. Oh my god, we call them Vic. I'm now a bit more fashionable too. They surprised me with the most beautiful uh, straw pork pie hat. What the frick? Wrapped up a uh, furoshiki style. Best birthday party ever. Also drunkest. I can't sleep. Oh my god. Hey dear diary, remember me? Uh, busy Max. Busy busy. Can't right now. Must shoot. Must live. Must be friends. Should rekindle with Chloe too. Oh my god, no way. We still have the pictures, though. That's nice. Let's see what's this. Bonjour. That's great. They found Aha! Uh -huh, bonjour. Place. Now I have some talking stuff. Awesome. Awesome. TV. Hello. They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HD TV, and they use her shitty tube television. <laughs> Uh. Oh, I'm sorry about all the reading, but I do like it. I do like it. It's just to understand the story and what happened and all that. Uh, what other play games do you play? Well, I started off with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and then uh, played Inside, and I played Little Nightmares, the first one, and now we're playing this one, and uh. Usually on Thursdays, I have community uh, day. <laughs> Thank you, Naya. Um, and uh, so on Thursdays, I have community day. And I play with viewers and uh, 
Uh, some friends. <laughs> yes. Yes, and the What Remains of Edith Finch. Thank you, Naya. That was a really cool game. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. I know. If it hadn't been for that for that trip. <gasps> oh, I can just go outside. Awesome. No more sliding the doors. What is this? The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. No, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, oh no, all the dead birds again. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here too. Um, and about your other question. Well, I, uh, I, uh, whoop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I am from Portugal and uh, I've been living in Denmark for like three years, three and a half years. Um, <laughs> all the sound alerts now. And uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to uh, to get out of Portugal, to go and live somewhere else. And uh, I ended up in Denmark. <laughs> Let's see what this I'm is. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. Oh, poor Bongo. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Oh. We didn't get to meet the kitty. Not fair. Ooh, the drawing's still here. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Aww. Oh, Chloe. I'm such a bad friend. Oh man. The swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. I'm just checking them out. Yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> go crazy. I have a friend living in Lisbon at the moment. Awesome. Does your friend enjoy Lisbon? I'm sure it's hot right now. Not sure how hot maybe, but we're like in March, so... No, it's still a bit cold for us. At least for us, it's still a bit cold. It might be like 15 degrees, maybe 20 degrees. Maybe. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Seriously? The Prescott Foundation has uh, vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope to this eco-mystery. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. Okay. I guess I can't change everything. Yeah. Ooh, that is so cool! I was actually talking about Macau the other day. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, paper. What's that paper about? They might get their own home taken away because of medical Oh my god. Costs. That's terrible. Out of 12,000 payable by August? Holy crap! That is so mean. I mean, I don't understand how come some people can just mm. exploit people who have uh, children with the uh, uh, horse stuck in a wheelchair and need all this medication. And it's not like they enjoy it; it's because they needed to to live. So mean. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Uh, so you're from Cam Canada, is that what you're saying? <sighs> Choices of food coupon boss. That is really cool. I wish you could have more of this. Like, I know this is like very popular in America. I used to watch this show where like people would just get a lot of coupons and they would buy food for like a thousand or something. And then they would get out of the store uh, with money. Because of all the coupons. That's great, great. You get all this food and you get money. Amazing. Maybe I should go and live in America instead. <laughs> God damn, the bills never end. 
da, da. Anything else in here? Photos. Can't go here. Can't go here. Mail. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. No, I play DBD. Yes, I did. And I do play sometimes. Yes. But I don't stream it so much, no. Your main game at some point? Awesome. No, that's right. You're from India. I'm sorry. That's right. Not good to go to Canada now. Oh, that's a shame. I would love to go to Canada. One day, maybe in the winter. There's so much snow. A lot more snow than in here. Due to recent state and federal cuts, we're glad to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers. Oh my god, seriously. This is such bullshit. I really don't like this system. Oh, America. Yeah, no. No, it's not so good to go there. <laughs> At least for now. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we should go and talk to William first. Oof. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Um, Air room, Chloe, Joyce. What's here? Paris trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can no, see poor it. guy. He's so sweet. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, it's, it's not called bad jokes. It's called dad jokes. There you go. Um, Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. What about Joyce? Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Uh... Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Okay, what about the Prescott family? The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. Thank you, Vinit. More than I want to. Uh, Joyce has okay, you have fun. Thank you so much for stopping by. I don't even like to think about it. Yes, I'll uh, check it. Bye. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. 
Uh, what about the care room? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Yep, I've Insurance seen it. helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? Oh. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. It must be so weird talking to someone who has been dead for so long. And, it, and then it's just right there in front of you. So many questions. Okay. More snooping. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Anything else in here? Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Okay, what about here? Oh! oh what the freak? Max, it is so nice to have you around. I didn't know you were here. I'm sorry. At least you're not naked. Okay, I'm just gonna go here and snoop around. Look at them. So cute. They have no idea what's in their future. It kinda looks like Warren. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. And William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. So cute. And what else? Was it? Was it? No. Here. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Oh no. Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with several spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever seen, I've ever had, and I've I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. And I must be so hard, like fighting and giving all that money it's and good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. And then like there's a high chance of her not making it. Just lingering in on hope. Joyce is already a super mom. So cute. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Yeah. How is William? I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, lucky to have him. Uh, what about... Is he the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Aww. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Uh, what about yourself? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Um... Uh havoc a lot of work plus you 
You guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. Yeah, we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Yep. Stay away from his son, Nathan. What about this Eco Havoc? So, what do you think is going on here with all of this Eco Havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Hmm. What about this David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Hmm. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. Just making you sure were. you weren't flirting. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. What about Chloe? I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Okay, let's go and snoop around a bit more. I really want to go to her room, but uh, first, can we go in the bathroom? Okay, let's see. Same. Nothing here. Okay. Cabinet? It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Uh, what about here? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Mm. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Okay, let's uh, switch this off. You already have enough uh, bills to pay. Ooh, can we go here now? Oh, it's so empty. Oh. Hey, Frank. No, not yet. I'm just playing this game right now. Let's see. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. In game messages? Yeah, I, I, di I did. Like, you mean... You mean these? I did check them. Not my dad's, though. Okay, nothing special. But yeah, I, I read them all. Because I was curious about how... How I'd had to react to them. Yeah, I know. He's kind of a bitchy now, right? At least we never had to hide from Step Douche. <gasps> it's still here! I guess we stopped growing up together. Oh. I 
I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. It's like no matter what, they're miserable. Oh man, I know. Like in the beginning of the game, I was getting teary eyed. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I could go back in time, but like, she. She's just miserable because her father died and she blames everything. Like, she's in a very bad spot. But then, like, here, it's like. I don't know. It seems like they're even more miserable. They're in pain because their daughter is in, is in this situation. And they don't know for how long. So it's... Uh, it's a lot of stress for them as well. But at least they have each other. Even if something bad or something worse happens to her. Decisions. Oh my god. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh. I know, I know. It's okay. You can cry here. This is a safe place to cry. What does it say? Hi, Bill. Sorry for not say staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. I have to go where the work in, is in these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nothing, uh, nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Bill. Your brother, Aaron. He even has his brother to give him some money. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Can we? We can't. Damn it. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Oh man, it's so shiny. It's never been used. What is this? Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. It's okay, Ryan. It's okay. We can all cry together. It's This is a safe zone. Everybody is welcome. Just bring your troubles here. We help each other. Let's see. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with the loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills please give chloe a hug and my best wishes love and dorothy and dorothy what does this have to do with the prescott's did she see prescott by the way too bad joyce and william can't get any help from the prescott no, okay that's fine that's fine okay that's fine i was like i heard prescott's foundation but Okay, let's go and give this to Chloe. Oh! Oh, Ryan. 